I bet you you didn't expect to see this when you clicked on this video, did you? <laughs> Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 and another week in Mexico. This week is a week for the supercar lovers. Today in the festival playlist, you can unlock this thing, the McLaren 765 LT, which is a nightmare if you have dyslexia and you end up calling it the 675 LT for the entire video. Anyways, to unlock this thing, all you need to do is get 20 points in the autumn season it should take you all of five minutes. In the Forzathon shop for the week, you've got a Radical and a 911 GT2. In the Car Pass this week, we have this. The McLaren 620R, which I'm super, super excited to check out. It's essentially a McLaren track toy that's road legal. It's absolutely absurd. We're going to be unlocking that thing tomorrow. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. It should be a super fun car to check out unlock and customize. Today though, we're gonna be starting with this thing, our McLaren 765 LT. Let's go get 20 points in the autumn season. And just like that, the 765 LT is officially here. So this McLaren 765 LT is actually the newest McLaren we've got. It's got over 750 horsepower, nearly 600 foot-pounds of torque. So let's take a look, see if it's any different from the one we've already got. Fire extinguisher, probably Probably a good thing, considering this is a McLaren at the end of the day. Doors go up. The interior looks fairly standard. Those seats look crazy cool. We've got four massive exhaust pipes out of the rear. That is so cool. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about our McLaren. 765 LT. Basically, to make one of these things, McLaren takes the 720S and upgrades it. Kind of all around. It's got a little bit upgraded suspension, a little bit more horsepower, and a lot more downforce. And not to mention the fact that these things are rare. Like, really, really rare. They only made 765 of these and 765 convertible versions for the entire world. They have all been sold. Before I started this up, I was like, how much is a McLaren 765 if you actually want to own one today? And I think I might have discovered something r rather fishy. Let me introduce to you this McLaren of Charlotte in North Carolina. They're a McLaren dealer out in the US and oh boy, do they have a selection of cars. You scroll down a little bit and uh, you're presented with these. A McLaren 765LT, another McLaren 765LT, another McLaren 765LT, and one more McLaren 765LT. For some reason, this dealer has four of them. Lol JK, they actually have six of them. Why? And how? That is nearly 1% of all of the McLaren 765 LTs in the entire world at this one dealer for sale right now. S side note, they also have this. Forza, could we have the AMG GT Black Series in the game? Anyways, back to Forza. They are literally scalping McLarens IRL. And I have no idea how they're doing it. I I'm just saying I would also like a commission to the one person who's not 12 years old in the chat. If you buy a McLaren, I would like some commission. That is not all that's crazy. I wanted to come over here to the festival drag strip. In real life, this car is so fast, it can actually do a quarter mile in under 10 seconds. And I want to see if it can do the same in this game as well. So I'm going to jump on to my quarter mile drag strip. Again, there's the share code if any of you guys want to give it a go. You might have heard a couple of years ago that the NHRA, they banned this car, they banned the Tesla Model S Plaid, they banned the Dodge Demon, because all of those cars were able to get less than a 10 second standing quarter mile. Recently, just last month actually, revoked that rule so you can now take your McLarens to the drag strip and not get kicked off in a second. Fun fact for you, if you are a McLaren owner, there, there you go. So let's go, let's see what it can do. A little bit sus off the launch, but let's go, let's go. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's a little slow. I'm gonna put traction control on and see if we can get a better time. That was a 10.3. I think we can do a little bit better there. We really got to focus on the launch. We spun our wheels a whole bunch on that last one. There we go. Shift up early out of first. 
then all the way up through the gears. Come on. Come on. Come on, McLaren. That, that going into sixth gear, it actually kind of ruins your run. We get it down to a 10.2. I honestly don't expect there to be many upgrades for this thing because it's kind of a race car, but I mean, maybe we've got... No, okay. There's no engine swaps available for this thing. We can make it all-wheel drive if we want. In terms of the aero, unfortunately, we don't have any cool aero pieces. Tires and rims, I've got to assume, yeah, we're on semi-slick tires, bone stock. We can upgrade to full slick tires. That makes us nearly middle of S2. You know what? Maybe we'll get some nice rotiform wheels on here those could look kind of cool maybe something kind of unique kind of different okay maybe maybe not that different uh yeah no, no 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 oh those are kind of cool twitch chat is actually asking for an s2 class race car then we're gonna want our full slick race tires that should be good We'll also make our tires a little bit thicker in the front. That should make us a little bit nicer. And we'll go all-wheel drive, which actually brings our PI down now. I noticed in here as well, we've also got some wheel spacers. So we can bring our wheels, our engine spacers in the front and in the rear. You know, if I was going really, really try hard, I probably would go for the front splitter and go for the rear wing. But it ruins the car's look so much. I would rather be slow and look good than ugly and fast. We're actually already sitting on race suspension bone stock. We can get rally suspension. Part of me kind of wants to rally race it. There is drift suspension. That doesn't look too bad either. Weight reduction, you can remove 300 pounds. Not bad. And then you can go in here and upgrade the engine a whole bunch. So let's see what we can do to this thing. A thousand horsepower would be nice. X-Class McLaren 765LT. After all of our upgrades, S2-Class. We weigh 2,000 1,700 pounds. Even with our all-wheel drive, we're a little bit lighter now, so that's really nice. We've actually got some advanced painting options for this thing, finally. So, group number one is the main body of the car, and group number two, I assume... Oh, it's the roof. Oh, that's so sick. But I really, really like purple McLaren. So let's get the carbon fiber -y bits back on and we'll hit the open road. That is a really cool looking car. What a beautiful looking car. Call me biased, but I love McLaren. I, I don't know if it's just me, but McLaren is just nailing it with their cars nowadays. I will call McLaren out because they are making way too many special edition cars and it kind of makes the whole special edition nature kind of not so special. For those of you who don't know, McLaren nearly went bankrupt a couple of years ago when they were making and developing this thing. The fact that it turned out so goddamn good regardless is just mind-blowing. It's even finally in race mode with the dash tilted down towards the driver. I love the shift lights. Those shift lights are sick. Okay, I should probably look at the road, not the light. McLaren makes my favorite supercars right now. I was always a huge Lamborghini fan. Ever since I was a little kid when I was growing up, I was like, Lamborghinis are the best. Lamborghinis are the best cars on the road. No question about it. McLaren has been killing it with their new cars, and they're just, I don't know. They're so cool. Still to this day, actually, the only supercar to ever make me sick was the McLaren 570S being driven at full speed around a race course. I've been in Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Audis, proper dedicated race cars. Nothing has ever made me sick bar the McLaren 570S. I cannot imagine what one of these things would be like to actually drive or get a ride along with. They would, they would just be mind-blowingly fast. I think we've reached the portion of the video where I'm officially allowed to ruin this vehicle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to our tires, strip those slick tires off, and throw those ones on instead. Do you think we can rally race a McLaren? I mean, in real life, you'd want some mud flaps and like 15 layers of paint protection, but I think this might be pretty good. I'm also going to try to downgrade it into S1 class. We've got a little bit less horsepower than we did before. We weigh a little bit more than we did before, but we are all the way down in S1 class. You never know what you're going to get with off-road cars in this game. Come on, McLaren. What do you have for us here? Come on. A little bit slow off the line. That's okay. That's okay. But I should be able to get everybody back with some speed in the corners. I've got the off-road tires. They're gonna be super fast here. Come on, I bet you you didn't expect to see this when you clicked on this video, did you? <laughs> yeah, it definitely doesn't have the, 
quick reactions and lightning quick turning that I was kind of hoping for. Come on, McCla it actually drives so smooth off-road. You usually don't get that. I'd like to take back what I just said. You never really know what you're going to get when you jump onto an off-road race course like this with a car like this. Sometimes it can be just downright scary fast, like some of the cars I've checked out have been. And sometimes you get car cars like th this one. We needed to experiment. We needed to give it a go. That is not the answer. Drag racing tires. I like the look of those. Super thick tires. I like the look of those. Let's go for some lightweight rims as well. I want to see how fast this thing can go down that quarter mile. Someone says, McLaren, if you're seeing this, Nick deserves a free McLaren. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see what we can do on the quarter mile. Bro, that sounds like a race car with those gear shifts. Our gears actually aren't too bad for just setting them up the way they were. We got to get this thing into the sevens. That is going to be my goal. Let's go. Get a seven nine. Get a seven nine. I might want to even turn off my traction control. I'm not sure. Those gears were definitely a little bit better. 7.9. Let's go. I made it a rule that if a car has drift suspension, I'm going to go and drift it. I don't expect it to be very good because the engine's in the middle. It's on very grippy tires. But I guess actually I could toss it on drifts, drift tires, which will help a little bit. And then you know what? Let's toss the drift transmission into our McLaren. That should be pretty cool. We're also going to go for a drift differential. I think that should be good. Maybe this in the jungle? 216,000 points is my personal best. I'm going to throw it into the corner and power and basically hang on for dear life as we slide this thing around. I don't expect it to get a personal best. It's just not kind of that type of car, but I'm going to push it regardless. We can kind of see what it can kind of do, I, I guess. 160, 170. Can we get 200,000? That would be kind of nice. This drift transmission is actually really nice. Whoa. Whoa. Um, I'm going to go again. Oh my God. The sun is coming up on the other side. That's how many tries I've done. Come on, McLaren. Come on. Send it wide. Wide. Very nice. Very nice, McLaren. Back. Spin the wheels up. Go. Okay, this is the one. This is the one, McLaren. Don't hit the tree. I almost hit the tree. This thing drifts surprisingly well. Okay, this is the one. This is it. Back to third. Let's go! Let's go! That's like the optimal run for this car. It's actually really weird using a drift transmission in this game. It's something I'm really not used to. I'm going to need to learn how they work over time and like adjust my driving style to them. I will say I wish we had some proper customization for this thing. Like there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do to these McLarens in real life. Like I would have loved to have been able to put on a roof scoop, for example. That's something McLaren allows you to do in real life. It would have been really cool to do it in the game as well. Overall, though, not actually the fastest car we've ever had. It's a fun car to drive. Not super, super fast, but really, really good.